Good morning guys, welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane, the Queen of Belmain. Today, we decided we're gonna start a new series which we're going to upload to once a week where we're going to explore Sydney's most recommended dog walks and dog parks. So the first one we're gonna check out today is the Woolai Creek Regional Park. But before we get going, let's get some coffee. Time to get the dog. Um, quick recognition of whose cute butt's that? Jesus Christ, woman. I got a Uh oh. Lucy, can you get buggies? Come on. Alrighty guys, we just made it to Woolai Creek. Now, we've just been told by a local there's a massive bat colony, about 3,000 bats. So this is gonna be pretty crazy. I might just keep loose on lead for this, just in case, because that prey drive is pretty darn high. Anyway, let's go. Just be aware, the Australian bush is full of paralysis bloody ticks. So the first thing I do when I get home, I'll be giving Lucy the bloody one over. Pretty sure this is magpie freaking heaven as well. <laughs> Let's hope none of them recognize Lucy. <laughs> little piece of information about uh, this little trek through the wilderness here. It's about 20 k's from the CBD. Like, holy shit, I didn't even know this was here. Jesus Christ, I'm pretty sure we just walked past goddamn Wolf Creek. What a creepy dude. Ah, shit. Also, another thing we need to look out for at the moment. Lou's come in. Ah, snakes. A lot of snakes here. Springtime, baby. Again, guys, everything wants to kill you in Australia. People are the least of your problems here. Mother Nature's a bitch. So another hot tip for young players, when you're doing things like this, exploring new areas, um, especially sometimes if you go to places we're not supposed to go. I know in Australia, they do a lot of baiting for feral animals, like foxes and wild cats here. They're always put, setting poison bait traps and things out, which can be catastrophic if your own dog finds it. So, do pay attention to signs and things. Also, I always jump on the web if I go to a new area, something like this. Uh, make sure that they um, that they're not obviously baiting in that time. Because I have I have stumbled across like masses, pretty much like a minefield of bait traps before, and I didn't look up 
what I was doing and I had Lucy off the lead but uh, obviously I've got really good control of her so it wasn't a massive deal but you do have to keep freaking like eyes on man it's pretty scary anyway just a tip for young players so I think we're about halfway through guys and I feel I can, I, we can hear the bats so we're nearly the bat colony so this big girl's gonna be going on a freaking lead very shortly uh. We've just come into the flying fox sanctuary. Um, we haven't come across any flying foxes yet, or bats. Depends on what part of the world you're in, I suppose, is whatever you call them. But uh, we have come across a local colony of Karens, which appear to be everywhere through Sydney. So we're just being very weary of them. But uh, we're making it through unscathed so far. Also, no magpies, which is a nice change. So we've just come to the end of the trail guys, we did not find bats, so that's actually quite upsetting. We come across this very shady, quite like spooky little area where I think creepy little bats would like to hang out, but they weren't there. So we found this awesome spot where the rock climbers go though, that was pretty gnarly. But now, I've seen this amazing spot down the gully here where the light's coming through the trees and I'm going to try and get a really nice shot of Lucy. So, wish us luck. So guys, that concludes our little hike up at Woolai Creek. This is an incredible little hike. Um, we did not get to see the bats. We took some nice photos, but we did encounter some wild Karens, as I said. But um, yeah, we're gonna be trying to do this at least once a week in this series and travel all over Sydney. And then once we do Sydney, we'll just probably do the rest of Australia, but all the hot locations to take your dog. And the reason why this one sprung up to me quite obviously was just because it was a, this is like, this is in the bush and it's 20 kilometers, about, about 20, 25 k's from the CBD. So that was quite special because normally to get this kind of scenery and this kind of feel, you have to travel up to the Blue Mountains. Is, and that's kind of up where, where we went to the snow that day, a few, a few months ago. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe, like, drop a comment below. Actually, drop a comment below if you, wanna, if you want us to get a drone. I was thinking of getting a drone. If we get 100 comments saying drone, we will get some for some more cinematic footage and another, another skill to learn. So anyway, guys, until the next video, we'll see you next time.